Life returned to Mount St. Helens after North America's largest volcanic eruption. But how? Mount St. Helens will again erupt, but the question is, when and how big will that eruption be? Will life have to start over again? Within 10 seconds, there was nothing but steam, volcanic mud, rocks, ash, and gas. It caused the largest landslide in recorded history. All life, birds, insects, plants, deer, and elk were wiped out. Forests were gone. 57 people were dead, and all of this happened on May 18, 1980. 40 years ago. It appeared to be impossible for any life, plant or animal, to return. Many people believed that life would never come back, including some scientists. But mysteriously, life indeed returned, and we'd like to show you the result. It was the prairie lupin, a wildflower, that started the new ecosystem. Amazingly, only one year after the eruption and four miles from the volcano's crater, the lupin made its first appearance. Why was this plant able to grow under such horrible conditions? It was actually bacteria in the volcanic dust that furnished important nitrogen for the plant to begin its growth. This was how it survived in an inhospitable terrain. The first animal to appear was the gopher. It was the prairie lupin which furnished its food and for gophers to thrive. Soon thereafter, wildflowers began to appear, such as fireweed and other plants such as alder shrubs. In turn, this attracted other animals, ants, grasshoppers, and birds, 
like robins and sparrows. Later, others returned, such as deer mice, chipmunks, and ground squirrels. Chipmunks became very widespread as they do not fear tourists. It is mind-blowing how this explosion, which killed 57 people, unbelievable number of animals, and devastated all life for 200 square miles, could ever come back so soon. It just captivates the human mind. This then answers the question, why Mount St. Helens has attracted so many people from all over the world. Each time we came here, we found some surprises and things we haven't seen before. We were very happy to finally see the return of the elk, which are a major viewing attraction. Prior to the eruption, there were four lakes, the most famous being Spirit Lake. All were destroyed or severely damaged but the eruption created areas for future lakes to form. Originally, Spirit Lake was a major recreational attraction. Immediately after the eruption, it became filled with logs, toxic water, and gases. However, several years later, life began to return and eventually thrive again. Mount St. Helens in the past 40 years has undergone enormous changes and now we can see how life returned and has exceeded our grandest expectations. We hope this video has been enjoyable and has also given you a new appreciation for the power of nature. We know Mount St. Helens will erupt again, but we don't know when or how big that eruption will be. We hope we've convinced you to actually visit this remarkable site. For those interested in hiking, go there and explore the natural beauty of what we can see at a distance from the city of Portland.